Hey, Mr. Mesa here. You know, Taco Mesa has been a Costa Mesa institution for 25 years. It's won Best Taco in Orange County several times, opened up four locations, including two Taco Rosas. And I love this place so much, I've come here on my birthday. And today, I get to meet with Chef Ivan Calderon to make a very special lunch. So let's go inside. Hi, hey, Mr. Mesa, how are you? <laughs> I'm doing it's great. It's so good to see you. It's so great to be here. You know I love your place. And, Thank you. And, you know, and I know you're such a prominent figure in Costa Mesa. You're on the Costa Mesa Chamber of Commerce. You've received the Mayor's Award. But you also have a very special place in your heart for a local charity called Soy or Save Our Youth. So can you tell us what we're gonna be doing for them today? Absolutely, as you know, the soy kids are coming back from surf camp, which they're gonna be very hungry, you know, uh, thanks to Volcom who is sponsoring and chaperoning the kids today. So we're gonna do a blackened chicken torta with grilled onion, avocado, lettuce, a little bit of chipotle mayonnaise on a Spanish roll for you. It's gonna be delicious. We're also gonna do our famous blackened chicken quesadilla which won the best quesadilla in Orange County some years ago, which was oh You're making me so hungry, you've got to stop. We just got to start cooking. Wonderful, All right. let's get with let's it. Let's do it. Let's get with it. Yeah, <laughs> please come in. So uh, what we're going to do uh, to start, we're going to uh, blacken the chicken breast. Okay, I'm going to apron gonna... up here. Yeah, let's do it. I have a little bit of uh, uh, paprika with a little bit of lari seasoning salt, a little bit of um, cumin and some garlic. Uh, I'm going to put a little bit of oil on the griddle. I'm also going to do the uh, grilled onion. And then we're going to put our quesadilla. Tomatoes. All right, so we've got the chicken going. We've got the onions going. Quesadilla, the torta top. What's the next yes. step for us? Well, we're going to wait till it cooks, the chicken cooks, so that we can flip it over. Then we're going to cut it. We're going to slide it in with a little bit of avocado and tomato, and then we're gonna close it up. All right, yeah. now I have to ask yeah. you, why did you decide to open this location in Costa Mesa 25 years ago? Well, you know, uh, as, you know as, as I was looking for a site going over so many locations, you know, Costa Mesa's beauty just couldn't get off of it. You know, the beauty, the diversity, right. the density, uh, all of the accessibility to all the, game, all the, the shopping and all the, uh, places that you can go to. It's just a phenomenal place. I just couldn't pass it. Now I have to say, Ivan, this doesn't look Tomato. <laughs> like the stereotypical Mexican food where you've got refried Onion. beans and hard shell tacos, the Americanized version, if you will, yes, sir. Of, of what they think of Mexican food. Now, what led you to make such unique food here in Costa Mesa? Well, it, it was a, uh, actually, it was what the consumers were asking for. You know, I've been involved with restaurants for 21 years prior to me starting my own restaurant. Uh -huh. So uh, I was involved in consumer, uh, consumer research. So uh, all consumers were asking for more authentic food. They were asking for healthier foods. They were asking for just better, better Mexican food. And is this food that that you uh, were inspired to create because uh, you were familiar with it growing up in Mexico as well? Absolutely. And you know, what, what part did you grow up in? Mexico City, okay. right at the heart of Mexico City. In fact, my first job as a young man was making tortas. Was making tortas <laughs> yeah. in Mexico City? In Mexico City. How old were you? At a place. I must have been about 12 years of age. Oh my goodness. 12 years of age, yeah. yeah. So you've been making tortas now for what, only 20 years? Uh, a little bit more like 40. <laughs> 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 a little bit more like 40. So this is going to be our torta for you. Okay. And uh, yeah. So I have a big question for you then. Yes, sir. Why have you ruined other Mexican food for me? <laughs> I used Is to be right? able to go anywhere, and, and now yeah. I'm so picky because of you. Let me put a little guacamole. And some sour cream. All right. And that's our quesadilla, our quesadilla morenita for you. 
how do you make your green salsa so addicting? Well, we just put a lot of love and flavor to it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, great. So now, uh, the students at Soy, um, tell us about where they're coming from. Are they only um, just a couple of blocks away? What's their situation? Well, we, we are catering to kids from the Mesa, uh, Costa Mesa, Newport area. So mm -hmm. we're actually uh, appealing to all the kids in our neighborhood and in the, in the nearby neighborhoods. Right. And a lot of them are, are young that need a place to stay, need a place to hang, need some help, need some attention. All right, so now we're at Soy, and I'm here with Eddie Iniestra and Silvio Rosales and my buddy Ivan. Yeah. How important is what you do for this community? Oh, I think it's, it's extremely important because there isn't any, as you can see, there's a lot of budget. There had been a lot of budget cuts in high school, so there wasn't a lot of arts and music programs. So I think it's extremely important. You know, uh, there, it's always a great avenue to express what you feel inside. Uh, it's a great way to uh, to get to to keep yourself motivated. Uh, so I think it's just they just naturally get drawn to it, and and I think it's extremely important since we don't have a lot of things to offer. And I think also the age group. You mm -hmm. know, there's a lot of uh, organizations and programs that help the younger students, and our target population is the youth, so the junior high and high school. So right now we have a couple volunteers. Uh, we're very grassroots when it comes to that. We're we're just open to anything. Obviously, as you can tell, we have a brand new facility, and you know we like to thank the New Promesa Unified for that. But we're very grassroots as far as how people get involved. So if someone has the time and they're willing to do it, we just invite them in, we talk to them, see what their interest is, and we get something going. And I know you have a big fundraiser every April. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit about that and how you're involved with Ivan? Yeah, definitely. Well, Ivan is also on our board. He's been providing the food for our fiesta for years. And I think for a lot of our donors, it's one of the highlights. Yeah. <laughs> As I know, his food is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> um, but we have um, a fundraiser here every year. And um, we invite an alum speaker to come and talk to them about their experience at Soy and where they're at now. And then just sort of to share with our donors um, everything great that we've done, not only with the kids and the members right now, but also with past students. Yeah, yeah I, I always tell people about the fiesta uh, when, when the time comes around that, you know, besides actually, you know, uh, being one of the biggest fundraisers we have, it's such a great night out. It really is. Like, mm -hmm. we have food from Taco Mesa. We have open bar, basically, you know, I mean, this that never hurts. No, it's I, a great never. celebration. I am, I am always honest with the people. I'm like, look, honestly, you go to the bar, you spend about $60 on drinks and you don't get food. Why don't you come to the fiesta? You know, we have some mm -hmm. of the students that are involved right now. They perform, so they have a little, uh, they're singing and dancing. You get to see what's going on in Costa Mesa and, you know, you get some food and some drinks, you know, and you get to see everything that we're doing. It's a great night. And Eddie, I know that you do so many things here. You wear a ton of different hats. Can yeah. you list all the different oh, man. things you do here? Uh, because the list is unbelievable. Well, if, you, if you're if you talking like program-wise, well, I teach, I teach drumming to the students, uh, which is great because drumming is one of those things where it's hard to do at home. First mm -hmm. of all, because the drums are expensive. Second, because they're so the loud. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so I teach, I, I, I open the opportunity to teach drumming. I have a group DJ lesson. Um, I have worked with kids that are more, uh, that show a lot of interest in rapping and writing uh, lyrics, so I work with them as well as that. Our future donors get to experience live, you know, what it does to the children that we serve. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because when they come to stage and they really present their story, it's really, really moving how grateful and how joyful they are after they've gone through all the programs and what they, how they benefited from the programs, that mm -hmm. they get to see it live. How have you seen Costa Mesa change since you've been involved in soy? You could see how it definitely brought in a lot of positivity and a new direction for the youth. 
And, and, you know, because of that, I think it helped diminish that gang problem. And obviously, we don't have that problem anymore. But now, you know, we provide these great opportunities that the kids otherwise wouldn't have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, for example, one of our board members, I know he wouldn't have gone to college if it wasn't for soy. So, Sylvia, I know that aside from all the activities, you also stress academics at SOY. Can you tell me about some of the programs you offer? Yeah, definitely. So we do have an academic component where we have a homework center where students can come in after school hours for tutoring in any subject, um, whether it be math, science, from uh, earth science to chemistry or physics. Um, we also have Spanish, French, um, all the histories and things of that sort. Uh, um, and then within the time frame that they're um, in the program, we help them with college applications, with their FAFSA application, um, scholarships. Uh, we also do college trips um, and workshops that help them um, with those things and also to navigate through the high school years. And with these college trips, so they're looking at potential colleges that Correct. otherwise they wouldn't be able to tour? Correct. So most of these students don't have the means to get out of Costa Mesa or Orange County. Um, and so we provide that avenue for them. So we take them to schools all the way as far as San Francisco. So we've taken mm -hmm. kids to Berkeley, um, to San Luis Obispo and so forth. Um, and actually we have alumni who have come back and said, you know, the only reason that I even thought about that school was because of the soy trip. I never even really heard about it. I've never had the opportunity to visit it. And once I set foot in there, it became my dream school. I'd like to thank Ivan, Taco Mesa, and the kids at Soy for such a wonderful day. You know, Costa Mesa is an amazing city. So get out there, see how you can get involved and make it even better.